Hi stunning fam, this is Sarah back with another DIY video. Today you are going to be watching us place our baby girl's wallpaper in her bedroom. After we purchased the wallpaper, we ran into a problem. It's recommended that you install wallpaper over smooth walls and we have textured walls. In order to solve this problem, we purchased 4th inch birch plywood, which is considered the smoothest wood to install the wallpaper on. We bought this wallpaper from an Etsy seller called Walnuts. I will go ahead and place the link in the description below. We bought a 4th inch piece of birch plywood to install the wallpaper on. This is the highest recommended type of wood for this type of project because it is very smooth in comparison to other types of wood. After placing the two pieces of plywood next to each other, we do remove the backing of the wallpaper very slowly and we stick the bottom of the wallpaper to the bottom of the piece of plywood as straight as possible. Be patient with this part because it does require a lot of due diligence to make sure that everything is straight and square. Once you get the wallpaper straight onto the piece of plywood, slowly remove the backing as you stick the wallpaper on the plywood. We recommend that you use a vinyl squeegee to get out all of the bubbles and to firmly stick the wallpaper to the wood. It's also best to use a squeegee from the center to the side so that the bubbles will naturally come out on the sides. As you see in the video, we do not have any footage of using a table saw as we had a Home Depot staff cut the plywood in half for us and half would be two feet wide. Once the wallpaper is secured to the plywood, we do wrap the sticker to the back of the plywood. We also use a razor blade to cut the wallpaper in between the pieces of plywood. For this project, we bought three 8x4 pieces of plywood as each of them are going to be cut in half. We're going to have four panels on one wall and then one panel on another wall. For the wallpaper installation, we did place the two pieces of plywood next to each other on our 8 foot kitchen table as the wallpaper is wider than 2 feet. So this allowed us to install the wallpaper on both of the pieces of plywood at the same time. We did experience some stunning misadventures in this project. We do really encourage you to make sure that the wallpaper is super duper straight whenever you're placing two different pieces next to each other. Um, you want to make sure that there is no wood that is going to sh be showing in between the the pieces of wallpaper and it all blends correctly. For the installation of the pieces of plywood to our baby girl's bedroom wall, we had to purchase two items. One of the items is a J bar and the second item is mirror clips. The pieces of plywood will be sitting on the J bar so these were cut to the width of the plywood which is two feet. Lastly, Brandon sanded them down to make smooth edges. The next step is installing the pieces of plywood to the wall. When you are watching this video, you are seeing it from the middle of this process as Brandon did a few just to make sure that it would all work correctly. If you were to start this process from the beginning, you would be placing the J bar first and then the mirror clips, whereas in this video, you're seeing him install the mirror clips and then the J bar. The mirror clips were installed at the top of the pieces of plywood and in the middle, which was 52 and 3 fourths inches. The pieces of plywood were installed one inch apart from each other on both sides. We used a level to make sure that the J bar is straight. We also did not screw these J bars into studs, so we did have to use a screwdriver and place inserts to help screw in the J bars. Once the J bar was installed, we placed a piece of plywood onto the J bar 
and made sure that it was secure with the mirror clips. We then repeated this process for all of the pieces of wallpaper along the wall. We hope that you liked this DIY nursery project. If you would like to see more content or similar projects, we encourage you to hit the bell and subscribe to our channel. We hope that you have a great week. See you next time.